person, we are going to look at the introduction to God, his nature and attributes. And by the end of this lesson, we should be able to explain the nature of God through his attributes in the three major religions. We will also describe ways in which you demonstrate attributes of God in your life. The question is, who is God? This is a question that many people do ask themselves. But we have gotten to know that almost the three major religions in Ghana have agreed on this definition that God is the supreme being, creator, and principal object of worship. Yes, the supreme being, creator, and principal object of worship. Now, let's look at the nature of God. The nature of God. We have not seen God before. So we can only express or explain the nature of God through his attributes. The nature of God can only be seen through his attributes, since we have not seen God before. What is therefore the meaning of attributes? Attributes of God are the names or titles given to God to show how God is experienced. Attributes are names or titles that are given to God to show how God is experienced. Now let's look at religion. There are a lot of religion in this country. We have Buddhism, Shintoism, Akanka, Christianity, Islamic, and what have you. But in Ghana, we have identified only three major religions. And these are Christianity, We have Islamic, and then lastly, traditional religion. These are the major religion in Ghana. However, there are other people who also don't believe in the existence of God. And these are called atheists. Atheists don't believe in the existence of God. Now, in our next lesson, we are going to look at the attributes of God by Christians. See you in the next lesson.